Sleep much like I slept, fell asleep in the beginning of the night, and when then when I woke up, it's just so uncomfortable to sit up for like nine hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This girl is so itchy. Oh god, I was gonna have like a reaction or something, but it was so freaking. And then when I go to itch, I can't feel anything on my boobs. Oh my god, this is so weird. I want my nipples to go back to normal though. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh my god, I'm so I'm, good. I'm touching my <laughs> I'm like, I get telling them, I don't know if it's because of the pain medication or I'm a badass, but I'm not in any kind of pain. You know, when we choose an appropriate size implant, it's not that bad. Well, that's yeah. what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm sure if I would have gone a lot bigger, I would have probably been. If you put a 350 in there, it would have been. You'd be feeling this this morning. Yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. your muscle would just be on such stretch and you'd have more swelling and more tightness. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit tight, but, and it's weird because the bra was making me kind of itchy. But then when I go to itch, like, this is all, like, numb. Like, when yeah. you're always asleep, especially like, on that side, I'll, so I'll talk to you about that in a second. Hip yeah. surgery? No, people um, are just kind of in a post-anesthesia stupor and you're taking yeah. meds. <laughs> the blocks are still in place. Yeah. The blocks are going to be completely on as of this morning. Right. So. Yeah, but other than that, and I keep forgetting. So I'll go to reach something, and I'm like, oh, oh, forgot, yeah. I can't do just that. Just listen yeah. to your body. Yeah. yeah. What are the blocks? What is it's like nerve blocks. I, I put numbing oh, medication okay. along each of the ribs. So on each side off. of the rib cage. It's completely worn off already. Okay. It only lasts six to eight hours. Like yesterday, I mean, I had... The only thing was when I breathed in, it was a little bit of pressure, but... Yeah, that's not bad. Right after surgery, it's best to limit lifting and arm movement for the first two weeks. You also want to limit any cardiovascular activity for the first two weeks because anything that will raise your heart rate or blood pressure can increase the risk of bleeding and swelling after surgery. The best way to recover is to do what you can to reduce inflammation after surgery. There's a mnemonic that physicians have long used for strains and sprains called RICE. This is rest, ice, elevation, and compression. Rest means that although you can move your arms within a normal, comfortable range and even lift them over your head if you're comfortable, you should avoid overuse of the arms by doing things like emptying the dishwasher and vacuuming. This should be done for the first two to three weeks after surgery. Ice and cold compresses can be used on top of the breasts to reduce pain and reduce inflammation as well as minimize swelling in the first 24 to 48 hours. A compressive garment is generally worn for two to three weeks after surgery to minimize swelling and to actually help add support and comfort for the breasts. Most patients find that within a few months after breast augmentation, they're able to get back to all the activities they were able to do before. 